you some borans. I made two kinds of boron, steam bed, and lathe carved. So um, very different approaches to the to the same kind of drum. The steam bent kind, I can do anything. Um, to make it deeper, I, I laminate two layers. So this is red cedar and yellow cedar, red cedar and cypress. This one is pretty light. Um, it's about uh, seven and a half inches deep. I can uh, I can make them just one ply with just a trim ring around the bottom or extra deep like this. A cutout, so you can have it in your arm here. You don't need the cutout, but if you're playing for a long time, it's nice to change the position and where, where the drum rests on your arm. So the tone is nice and deep, mellow. I get it mellow because I partially tan the skin, usually, depending on what people want. I also put a toning ring in here. You probably can't see it, but there's a toning ring, and that's held between the skin and the tuning ring. This accomplishes the same thing as tape. So some borans have black tape around the outside. That mellows out the overtones, leaves you with the fundamental note of the drum. So that's what this does. Um, I like this because I can loosen the cams off and remove it. I can put it back. There's no tape to wear over time. And um, and then the outside of the drum just has the, the just the natural look. I finish them off with tacks and and, a, and an in, um, embroidered band. Um, so the tuning system is cams, and I designed these cams myself with a few things in mind. I'm going to loosen them. This is how you loosen the drum. You just turn them back. So now the drum is loose. So I made them so they're stable, which is the bearing point on the tuning ring is directly above the axis. So as you turn them and, and as you go around, the bearing point stays directly above the bolt at all times. That way they don't slip. You can also um, put lots of power on them because they're long. Um, borans are generally not a drum that you tune tightly, but I use these on bandiers and tars as well. So now it's tuned up. Um, and range is the, is the other thing I made these cams to do. They have more than half an inch of range, which doesn't sound like a lot, but for a drum like this, half an inch for this tuning ring to go up and down is, is, is plenty of range. You need that with borans because um, when you tune them loose, if it's hot and they don't go loose enough, you need to either put water on them or do other things. So it's a good tone that I like to play now. So that's an example of the frame drum kind, uh, steam bent kind. Here's the lathe carved shell. So as soon as you you are able to carve a shell on the lathe, um, the shape can be anything. So um, with this one, I have this nice scoop in there. It makes it sit on your lap really well. It feels really nice. This one's solid maple. With deep shell borons, because you have a longer um, wood to work with, you, you all of a sudden have much more strength, um, which opens up possibilities for, for turning solid shells. With all the other drums, I'm set up for, for the lathe work, so to me this was an obvious thing. It has the cam tuners, the toning ring. This one's a bigger toning ring, so it's a more focused, more controlled tone, and, and the, the tuning ring here. Cut out. This one's about 8 inches deep, about 15 inches wide. This one's tuned a little bit higher than that one was.
skins are partially tan. And, uh, you know, I, I pick them for even thickness. And really what, what, what people want out of the sound of their drum. So that's a, these are two borons. I can make them with crossbars. I can, uh, I can make any kind of, of shape you like.